Hey, Zach, let's check out Zombieland. My mother always told me, someday you'll be good at something. I mean, I don't think she could have guessed that that something would be zombie killing. What do you think? Zombie killer of the week? The new horror comedy Zombieland drops us into a world where the living dead rule supreme. A creepy mad cow related virus has turned the world's population into an evil flesh eating zombie. Indie star Jesse Eisenberg plays the reclusive shut-in Columbus, who manages to survive the plague thanks to his endless list of zombie-killing safety tips. My rules. With his priorities rearranged to basically survive at all costs, Columbus sets out to find the remainders of society. And once Eisenberg's character hooks up with zombie-killing master Tallahassee, played by Woody Harrelson, things really kick into gear. You're gonna risk our lives for a Twinkie? There's a box of Twinkies in that grocery store. Not just any box of Twinkies, the last box of Twinkies that anyone will enjoy in the whole universe. Believe it or not, Twinkies have an expiration date. Someday very soon, life's little Twinkie gauge is gonna go empty. Oh my god. Look at this clown. Of course. It had to be a clown. Once our duel picks up a pair of sisters, Columbus begins to feel the stir of his humanity. Because when everyone you know is dead, family is where you find it. But by the time this impromptu family reaches a supposed zombie-free amusement park and gives the movie its title, Full-on zombie munching mayhem takes center stage. <laughs> zombie movies have always been a popular satire of society while giving the fans the experience they crave. Countless inventive ways to kill, maim, and destroy the living dead. But still I found myself wanting more. We've seen funny, gross zombie action before. And in this world of the future, we should try to raise the creativity level from the grave and try something new. Don't you think, Zach? I mean, I, I kept <laughs> wanting more from this movie. Did you? I don't know. I mean, I thought Woody took hold, carried this thing. But there was something different out of this. Something different from all the other zombie movies. You know, it seems like in all the other ones that they're, you know, they're put out by having to kill these things. In this one, it's almost like they're looking for them. They're going out and looking for them, and they enjoy killing them, and you enjoy watching them kill. Okay, I mean, uh, you know, Woody was great. His humor's terrific, and I think he knocked it out of the park that he was right for this. Uh, uh, but the thing is, is we've seen Shaun of the Dead. We've seen yeah. the comedy zombie movie. We've seen 28 Days, where the zombies were fast. Now it's time to raise the level. Can't we just take it, you know, a, a little further? They got all of a sudden they brought all this this cast together, yeah, and the zombies, and then they just said, "Forget about the script. We're just gonna let it kill everybody, like we've been doing over the past fifty years." Certainly, I could see where some people would be burnt out by this, but me personally, I'll take a zombie movie every week and I'll watch it, obviously, with a good six pack and uh, maybe a babe on my side, you know. So. I mean, come on now. This ain't Casablanca, Tommy. This well, is... maybe it should be. Maybe we should reach a little further. You know, I mean, I know I, I like a good zombie movie. Okay. But I'm done with the good zombie, just the killing and the man. Give me something in the script to take me a little deeper. Let's let's yeah. find it. Let's be creative enough to get us there. I'm, I'm you know, so let's stretch a little bit. I'll roll with you a little bit on that. Maybe if Woody found a love interest in one of the zombies, maybe that would have been a nice twist. 
I don't know, Zach. You know, it just didn't get there for me. Yeah, I don't know. I thought that you saw 28 days, natural born killers came together, made a baby, and that's what Zombie Land is. <laughs> they made a baby, and that's. What I love it. your perspective <laughs> on things. Not that I agree. So I don't know. You know, Zombie Land for me, I it was an iffy. I you know, okay. for guys who just want to go and and see murder and maiming and and zombies flying around. You know, I wanted more. So bottom line, oh, in, their, in our beer rating, here it comes. maybe three beers. I'm glad I didn't write the movie. We'd get in a battle right now. <laughs> you three beers? This is three, three beer beers? for me. All right. What well, I hate to be, you know, argumentative here, but I'm going to give it six. I'm going to give it six. A yeah, six I'm giving pack. it six. And I'm going to drink a little bit right now just to think about what I just gave it. I think you had a few before you watched this movie. You know, that's true. I actually had six beers before me because it's so expensive, you know, studio movie grills. Yeah, we got another uh, great movie to look at and uh, um, the invention of lying. So we'll be right back. You know, Zombieland was originally pitched to be a TV series. Zombies on TV? But I already watched The Hills. 